Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna add a couple more XT3 photos. Let's get started. This one was the sunset photo that um, left uh, last time. Uh, there are still a couple of pictures from last time I need to edit, but uh, this time I will add a couple more different ones and uh, some existing one. I will do one uh, quick shoot tomorrow, maybe on XT2. So stay tuned for the BTS coming up and um so let's get started the first thing i'm gonna do is um add a little bit of the contrast for this one and then leave the exposure so brightness uh, just adjust a little bit but uh, i'm gonna do is add the sharpness layers so let's get the okay so i'm already here so just a little bit of the on the edges okay so and this thing can be sharp also so that's the layer that i'm gonna apply the uh, sharpening you can see that um on the edges are already very sharp uh, so radius and then threshold so that's um, the first one and then the second one I'm going to adjust the 4x5 crop and then slightly rotate. You can see the ho horizons in the back like that. Slightly adjust the something like around here. Okay, so after that, okay, I'm gonna add more to the bottom. Okay, so that's good. And then let me go back to the background. Adjust the, uh, the contrast a bit more. So after that, that's good. So this one is good. And then I can just export export the variant 100% I'm fixing like make sure it's 100% for that so the next one this one was on the 23 mm f2 so Fuji frame also so I'm going to do the quick um, adjustment of the sharpness again so let me press the M on the um, keyboard just uh, make sure that the front layer is uh, sharper so just uh, among apply the amount of sharpening radius and threshold and then go back to the background increase the contrast and even here the amount i can do a little bit more sharp so let me show you the before and after yep so that's before and that's after much sharper images and then let me go back so the um the line alignment is already pretty good so i'm just leave it this way for now next one so this is the auto white balance uh, 23 mm f 1.4 and um because it's auto white balance the xt3 auto white balance you can see the purple um more colder and uh, more magenta toward uh, in uh, when you are setting the auto white balance on the xt3 sensor uh, that's why i noticed you can see that this is the same thing too so we need to add some uh, warm tone uh, to that also so let me adjust a couple things and then um, we can adjust the color or we can change the white balance in the profile here um, let me see so this one is auto generic um, so this is white balance as shoot daylight so you can see that it is much warmer in the daylight so as shot you can see that the auto white balance is the more colder tone um, let me know what you think in the comments so this one definitely too purple too green 
stay white for lesson. So this one and day light. So day light itself uh, is greener. Daylight fluorescent or there's a day day white and then day light. So this one definitely a lot warmer for this one. And cloudy, cloudy has a, still have a green tint in it. So underwater, I don't know what's underwater, but it seems like okay day light or day white. Okay, so this one is more. And then we can adjust the cow one here. Just adjust a little bit. If I do this one custom. Okay, so as we adjust the, um, you can see the before and after. So this is directly auto white balance is much colder and then adjust it. Uh, the raw file um, for the XT3. Uh, that's why uh, it's good to shoot both right now. I'm shooting both raw and um, JPEG. And in case that got messed up, uh, you can update that also. So let me do a quick um, lay, uh, the layer for the sharpness also. So let me just do a quick layer in the front and some of you ask why you don't do that on the Lightroom because the Lightroom has the masking masking is the same thing you can mask uh, certain things that not doing sharpening so that not all the photo is sharpened and um, I'm doing the same here but uh, just adding the layer so I'm gonna add the amount of the sharpness here radius and threshold okay so let's see the difference so that's before and after and i'm still on this layer right here i can add even better uh, light so that's before you can see that it's not as sharp after that it's nice and clear so that's good and then the overall image is uh, warmer because we set this uh, white balance uh, what I did was uh, I changed to the day white fluorescent and then update manually a little bit so um, after you did that you can do the copy and paste you can copy and then apply to the next one but I'm gonna don't do the adjustment layer so that's uh, let me show you the before and after okay yeah the layer i'm gonna add a new layer and um, i'm gonna do one more time for this one Okay, so add the amount of the sharpening and then radius and then threshold. Okay, so that's uh, let me do it before and after. Yep, so that's much better. And then that's it for this one. So the same thing you can do apply to the next one, apply and then do adjustment layer. So that's how um, I added from the original uh, white balance directly out of the camera is a little bit too cold for the X-T3 auto white balance. But uh, this you can adjust in camera also. But since the, this is the raw X-T3 file, you can adjust it in the post. And what I did was I adjust it manually and then uh, set the white balance to the nice uh, according to the four color. And this is how I did it and um, I will apply some of this uh, sharpening later and then export it out and thanks so much for watching um, I will have one shoot coming up I will do a quick shoot tomorrow I will have the BTS
coming up. I might shoot the XT2 and some uh, batteries F1.8 also. Just um, just uh, to prepare the 50mm F1.0 also. So thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye.